What's up, everybody? This is the Mix Signals Podcast. Every week we're going to be sitting here. We are going to be talking about music. And this week we are joined by a not-so-special guest. It's your boy right here. What's good? Um, I don't know what you want it to be called, what you want it to be like, um, as. My, uh, this is my Twitter, you know, Surfsport XL. There you go. I'll put it on uh, the the bottom somewhere. Somewhere because, on the bottom. You know, we we have our lower thirds. I didn't add him to the lower thirds, so it's gonna pop up somewhere, and it's definitely somewhere. gonna be in the description, so you can check that out. It's gonna be right next to Marcus's. Um, right next I, to mine, I guess. Wait, Instagram or Twitter? He doesn't have a Twitter. I don't have a Twitter. Oh, he doesn't have a Twitter. <laughs> All, right, <laughs> I don't go. All right. Anyway, so I am yeah. host Devonte Chisholm. This is Israel Sanchez. Israel Sanchez, you are. This is uh, this is Mark Lee. And uh, yeah, this is this is episode four. Jesus and Christ! You so you are the audience. We are who we are. You are the audience. A big step. We episode appreciate four. the love. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but we're not gonna sit here and be all emotional and preachy with you guys. Just yeah. uh, right into topics. The Patriots cheated and mm, won mm, the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so the Patriots recently won the Super Bowl. Okay. And uh, Tom Brady, best quarterback. In, in, in between, NFL. in between that, the, you know, those two halves of the game. A Katie very Perry, exciting game. Katy Perry performed. Katy Perry did perform. How do we feel about that performance? Uh, how do I feel about it? Uh, being that it's Katy Perry, it is a good performance. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not saying that Katy Perry, Katy Perry is just that good. It's just. For her caliber of performing, that's a good performance. Yeah. I mean, she had, like, the, the lion coming out. And she was a literal firework. Mad, mm-hmm. mad Power Rangers jokes. Yes. Yeah, right. so a lot of Power Rangers jokes. Yeah. jokes. A lot of Blades of Glory Blades jokes. Blades of Glory, yeah. yeah. A lot of uh, Cheetos jokes. <laughs> Cheetos. What, what, what I want to know is that mic she was holding, she had that Wii strap. Yeah. Now, was that a Rock Band Wii mic? I saw or it. Or was that, I like, an actual right mic away. just with, like, the Wii strap, like... You know a Wii strap when you see a Wii strap. So it's just like, yeah. was you lip syncing? I didn't Probably. notice that, but I'm not a nerd. I don't so. think so. <laughs> I mean, you don't got to be a nerd to notice that, Mark. It's like everybody know about the Wii. I, I didn't notice that either. You know? I noticed uh, that. Whatever. I, noticed I did right not away. notice that. I wasn't even looking at the at yeah. their hands, really. I was trying to um, get, I, I, just go look at Katy Perry. But, so, yeah. honestly, I feel like it was a really weak performance. I feel yeah. like compared to other years, I feel like uh, recently it was Beyonce and Beyonce, you know, tore True. it apart. And I feel like she didn't tear it apart; she turned it off. Literally, literally, <laughs> turned the whole game <laughs> off. You know, like she really tore it. Yeah. Um, and then Bruno Mars had a really good performance. Definitely. I mean, definitely. Red Hot Chili Peppers definitely. came up and did like an all, awkward performance. And but in that's the because of they all were. All I'm saying is, oh, God. all I'm saying is, Lenny Kravitz. Didn't uh, do anything. That was no, a really you, that was a that was the lamest like, part of the whole performance. Damn, that happened. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was, it Missy was Elliott lame. did a lot better than exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Missy yeah. Elliott was the that was that the was thing. that was the highlight. One, I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I lost it when <laughs> when when she started coming up. My mom was sitting there like I was watching it with her, and she's just like, "Wait, you didn't know about it?" And I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like, I was freaking Jeez. out. Um, but Lenny Kravitz, I felt like his part was just really, was really weak. He didn't even he didn't perform one of his own songs, right? No, it was nah. only I kissed the girl. No, it was only yeah. I kissed the girl. Yeah, I, I just yeah, I don't know. I feel like he was just up there, like he was just stage present. And you and you know, like because you brought up the whole Red Hot Chili Peppers thing. Yeah, they like they were asked to play, but they were asked to play without being plugged in. Like, literally, mm-hmm. it was just a performance where yeah. your music plays in the background and you're just there. Like, you're like just, mimes, miming, it. just yeah. miming it. So that's why, like, probably the Katy Perry thing was probably the same thing. And I feel like they do that in order so that, you know, none of the uh, none of, none of the performances, like, mess up. Like, there's a chance. Or I know. I know. I remember, uh, like, a couple of Super Bowls back when MIA was doing it, she, like, flipped off the camera mm-hmm. and, like, she just caused, like, you, you had yeah. to catch it like it happened really quick but she did flip off the camera I, I think mm. she even cursed mm-hmm. yeah. and you, you know Janet Jackson you know remember the mm-hmm. Janet yeah, Jackson everybody, you know, remember that. everybody really want that to happen with Katie yeah and I noticed what? that I noticed that her dress was like boom was it amazing. was like perfect like she was not really she usually shows a lot of cleavage like on mm-hmm. on like the red carpet and this time she kept it on the wraps yeah mm-hmm. 
know. I'm saying, you, you know, they Super Bowl just don't want an, another uh, Millie Vanilli, you know? Because they, they, they already got a lot of yeah. stuff they, you know, to worry about, you know, with deflation. Exactly. Like <laughs> all them balls. No, we won that fair and square, though, so. That's yeah, all okay. I'm just saying, if, if they gave Marshawn Lynch the ball at the end. Oh, yeah, they would have won. They had, they had the goon in the back, you know, in the backfield, <laughs> and they should mm-hmm. just give him the handoff, and they did, messed that up. Did you see the video where, like, the dude was, like, talking about that he ran into his own TV? That he tackled yeah. his TV. <laughs> that was the old ass TV. Yeah, it was. But yo, those TVs are good. Those home theater TVs where they're literally like seventy inches and they're like a house, <laughs> like literally like yeah. a playhouse. Like now, now what about that shark? That shark was uh the left shark. Oh you guys yeah, heard about that guy? I, heard about the guy. I saw yeah, I saw the videos of him dancing. I didn't peep that in the yeah, in the yeah, live. Yeah, I like watching live, the performance I didn't even live because I guess we were too focused <laughs> on, on Katy Perry. Mm-hmm. But like when you look back at it, the left shark. Had no idea nah. what was going on, what he was doing. Yo, that suit must have been it must, hot. It must be difficult, like, dancing in that suit. Like, <laughs> Yeah. My other problem is, uh, just speaking of the sharks and everything, I feel like it was just really random. I feel like I feel like with other performances, it's just like one thing blends into the another. But I feel it's like with this, it was just like, boop, boop, boop. Like, it was just, she was in different... She just like had ideas. Situations. She yeah. just had ideas. It was just, it, just a it. new set, new set, I'm new Katie set, Perry, like something different. Like I feel like it didn't. So once uh once fireworks started, it was just kind of like I feel like she didn't really reach that plateau yet. Mm-hmm. Like to have an explosive ending, like it just fell flat for me. I just want to say I saw the interview like before I saw the Super yeah. Bowl, yeah. same, and I me just too. I couldn't watch the Super Bowl and then not. Re- be reminded of that scene in here. Yeah, it was it was all song. over social as well. Like, like when that was Katie happening. did it. Katie sang fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just sad. what are um what's going on with Missy though? She coming back? I hope uh, she does. I is mean, this because the start of her because you I know, know she's Katy Perry, back. whoever yeah. this Missy Elliott girl is, Katy Perry's really Katie gonna make her famous. I did hear be. news that uh, sh- she's trying to get back with uh, Timbaland and Genuine. Mm-hmm. They're probably trying mm-hmm. to launch a group. And maybe that's gonna happen, you know. Just... Yeah, there was an interview um, uh, a friend showed me um, related to Empire and how Timbaland does that whole yeah, thing, he does, yeah, he does whatever. Music. Um, and he's like, like sound, uh, sound. He does all the sound and shit. But um, he talked about. They asked him about uh, like people that he loves or whatever, and she he brought up Missy and how like I feel like there's like a possibility that she'll be coming back or whatever. Mm-hmm. So it was definitely hinted at before the show. Which yeah, was I know. Cool. Um... Um, so. All right, let's 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 talk about the truth. You guys gonna buy a Missy Missy Elliott album? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm streaming. I'm streaming definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah I'm streaming okay. for definitely. sure. And if it's like that good, I'll buy. I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll 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 I'm streaming it and buy it. Like if she yeah. if she if she yeah. comes correct with it, I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna listen to. I wasn't really a fan of Missy Elliott even in the past. What? Yeah, so I'm just trying to crazy honest. right now. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't that's understand. your life. I don't understand how you can say that. You a fan of Magoo? No. <laughs> Yo! He doesn't even know. No, he doesn't no. even know no. who that is. But yeah, no. I know she was out for like a long time because she has like had like a thyroid problem or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that's probably one of the things that kept her out for so long. Yeah, and I know she came back in like 2012, 2013 with like two that. songs. It was like mm-hmm. ninth inning and something else. Yeah. Um, that did nothing. Made no waves at all. Mm. Um, she w- did do a track with J. Cole on his first album. Yeah. Um, which made some little waves. People were just like, ooh, ooh Missy Elliott, oh ooh. man, is she doing something? But, um, this, this is a time. This yeah, a time. I feel like, if anything, she should come back now and I feel like, a perfect I feel time. like, exactly, I feel like she should just be the female Drake and just, I don't think she could do that. And just hop on the track and, I mean, she did in the past when she, she would be singing on one track and then she'd be spitting bars on another one. So I feel mm-hmm. like this is the right time for her to come back and do that. Um, I'm I'm a little scared because I feel like if she comes back, like her next album is gonna be feature heavy. Yeah, I feel yeah. like she's gonna come back in and one everybody's gonna want to work. With I mean her. that's that's one of the best um, ways to do it. Like if you really want to try to make a strong comeback, not yeah. necessarily. Well, she, he, she could do a, she could that's do a feature a heavy come for you. All right, she could do a feature heavy comeback and then once she's in there and has that cloud again, then she can do her a, do, a project yeah. with just her. Yeah. I feel like you, know, you don't even need like it to be feature heavy. Though. Listen, like, J. Cole didn't need features, but maybe Missy Elliott does. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like it's, you it's could, the, I feel like all you need on an album is just like maybe one or two really good ones. It's gonna be tough. And then that's me. the single that you can push, and then that's it. Like like what Eminem does with Rihanna lately, mm-hmm. um, and he he has that one feature, and then he 
pushes yeah. that one. So I don't think you need to go like what the game did on his last album where <laughs> every track, he literally <laughs> opens the album by himself for two tracks and then everything is just like featuring five other artists. And then the last two tracks on the end are by himself. So I don't feel like you need to do that. Because then it's just like, I feel like you're not really focusing on the artist. And look, Missy Elliott's going to have to compete with Iggy Azalea, yeah. Nicki Minaj, mm. uh, Dej Loaf probably. You know, like, yeah. There's a lot of women artists now that are making a lot of music. And I, but just, I feel like it's going to be hard. It's already Missy, hard for Missy's the girls out there now. Missy's advantage in this case is Timbaland. And best case scenario, if, he, if she does an album where it's just her... She could at least, and she probably will, have features where it'll be like Timbaland or like The Hook or whatever. Yeah. And like those songs are always good. Yeah. I so we're still. So, she has you know, an advantage because like she can, she's she's a. Uh, she's been around. For she's a yes, she because she's been around, but, but I feel like she's above Little Kim and like Remy Ma. Yeah. And yeah. This war oh yeah. Because she's, I feel like she's, she's more. Out of it, really. She's more yeah. legendary. Uh, than they are and she's more respected than they are because and she used her actual talent and her actual like there, she there really spit. wasn't there really wasn't sex appeal with her yeah. I, don't, she did I don't know she, about no, you guys she did it comedically her, she did it comedically I mean her songs yeah. did have sexual themes they and did it, yeah. but I still wouldn't well, I mean, let's be real let, let's be real Missy Elliott is known for hits. Like everything yeah. she yeah. does yeah. is a hit. She yeah. makes hits. You're right. She makes hits. That's what she does. Except so. when she didn't make hits before. But that's a <laughs> <laughs> Well, besides those tracks, besides those two tracks that you were talking about, yeah. she makes hits. Yeah. So I feel like she, this album is going to be fire. If it's a co- even coming out, we don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Speculation, it could, it could speculation. It could be detox. No. <laughs> it could be detox. Oh my god. Or, or uh, what's his name? Uh, J Electronica. No, oh, yeah. Whatever he's doing. Nothing. He, he on Black TV. He loves the interviews. So, Missy, um, in closing, if you have to not do like something, like come out on your own, I say you do a collab album with Timbaland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yep. Timbaland did his like his shock value one and two things, but I think you guys should just like yep. like do do your own like little. Throw Justin Timberlake in that shit. Yeah, yep. exactly. Or, or, or features just, features from Justin Timberlake. Justin genuine, Timberlake. genuine. Shit, bring tweet back. I don't bring care. Tweet back. Bring tweet back. Track. But I feel like if you come back and you want to come back strong, um, just you know maybe a joint album with Timbaland will be the best yeah. route for right I, now. I have a I, personal request: having like a Nelly Furtado. Uh, oh, because that Nelly Furtado loose album was oh my god. Yo, where, where is Nelly Furtado? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yo. I gotta yeah. find her. Yeah. Mm. Just saying. Yeah. All right, next one. Yeah.